newbies come one, come all, come conqueror newbies, come plastic league newbies, bronze league newbies, gold and silver league newbies. Newbies unite. Let's cause some mayhem here. We got a classic uh, English bow rush followed by a Roman castle age follow up, which is just way OP. Nerf that. No, well, man, maybe nerf it. I don't know. But you'd kind of have to take away what both these civilizations are meant to do. So, uh, anyway, that's what this is. Uh, enjoy, enjoy. And I do, I like to black out, just do from one perspective, and from one perspective, I think you'll be seeing everything you need to be seeing to know what's going on in the game. And it leaves some mystery, some suspense for the viewer, like what is going on on the other side? Well, you know, we just gotta wait and see and find out, you know, ourselves, you know, so. Anyway, it's newbie, I'm a newbie caster, like, I am a newbie announcer. I'm a noob. I am the marmot, the king of the marmots, and the marmots are all noobs. Okay. Conqueror noobs, platinum noobs, gold noobs, silver noobs, bronze noobs, plastic noobs, sub plastic noobs, like, you know, just like wood noobs. But wood might be better than plastic. Wood league. Or like, I don't know, like, what do we got? Tinfoil league. You know, all noobs, you know, use this strategy and you will and you will uh, get it to conqueror in ranked, uh, you know, in ranked, you know, just hearken, hearken unto the words of wisdom, all you plastic leaguers. The marmot, king of the noobs, sends forth his blessings unto your ultimate AoE style. And, uh... If you want to learn build orders, look at a build order thing. But here we got 10 on sheep, one on gold. We had two, we took them off, put them on wood. We only have one on gold, getting a little bit of gold because we're going feudal. So there we go as English. Boom, two minutes, 37 seconds. Start the council hall with one. And uh, then then we'll, uh, we'll see what happens next. So I didn't scout the enemy very well, you know. I mean, look at that. All I see is a gold mine, but that's enough for me to know where to put my bows, right? Yeah. It is. Oh, but you see. That would be a good strategy to attack the gold. But what you can see here is the scout going around. All newbies listen in. The scout going around, not going and getting killed by the town center. Figuring out where all the whole base is, where all the villagers are, the wood, you know, figuring all that shit out. And for, forgive my language there. Uh, forgive my language, I'm a newbie caster, amateur hour, here on Newbie Mayhem. Uh, that is like Joshua going around Jericho right there. The Israelites going around Jericho. I've gone completely around the base. You can see, you can see down here on the mini map. As English, I went completely around the base, and look, I'm even getting some sheep that he missed. So, just the fact that I found a sheep was kind of a confidence booster in the fact that I had an edge on him. Um, Once again, I want to emphasize the scouting of the base. You can see on the mini-map, 
that I have the whole enemy base roundabout scouted right now, just as I'm starting to produce bows. And I'm also getting an extra sheep out of the deal. Once again, my scout is back with my bows for that extra range of vision. Because there's going to be threats to the bows. There could be horsemen, archers, Roman men-at-arms and feudal. Wolves, wolves and boar. No, I'll just let the bows do the talking. Just a little note there, I got house there, this bow rush would be a lot more effective if I had got my houses in, but I'm, I'm a noob as well, I can't get everything done all at once, do my bow rush and build houses, a lot to think about. Because I'm running, look at the budget I'm running, I'm running a tight budget here, I mean, it's a tight budget. Here's, here's my budget, I'm running a tight budget. Once again, I am housed, but there's action going on. I'm supply capped in the middle of the action. The thing about being supply capped when you're losing units in battle is you still produce, so it's not that bad, but it, 
it's it's better than being idle in Supply Cap. And, uh, I'm still not noticing the houses. But this is newbie mayhem. You want to watch BCQ? Watch BCQ. Like I said, finally there's my house being built, and if you want to watch BCQ, watch BCQ. You know, that's all I'll say. You know. This is Newbie Mayhem, we got shenanigans all day. But here we go. Those bowmen really hate that farm. They just want to get that farm killed. You know, they just, they do not like it. In fact, the men at arms and the knights don't like that farm either. That farm is just, you know, an affront to the Roman and English Empire.
know, who needs houses? We, we can live out in the open, right? It's like, why does everyone gotta have a dwelling, you know? Well, I guess some dwellings are good. Uh, Mongols is my favorite to play. I will, I will say that you don't need houses as Mongols. It's so much fun, but you don't get to build walls like this. So, no, no. this is So the English and Roman Empire is looking pretty well off at this point in the game. We've taken a lot of map control. We haven't scouted to see if they're doing anything else on the map, really. But we've been putting so much pressure on them, and they seem, you know, pretty well beat at this point. That that's not too necessary. But a really good player could have a second PC somewhere that we don't even know about, you know. So this is newbie mayhem. If you want to watch Beast of Cube? Watch BCQ and, 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 and the Conqueror 3, guys. Give you to Muslim. You can also watch to Muslim. He's a good player. It's all right. And Marine Lord, Grubby. If he comes back, you know Grubby's got some great content for beginners. It's from old. Well, it's old from older updates of the game, but it's still really good for basic if you're new to the game. Um, 
build orders and stuff. Even if the build orders aren't the current meta, you know, you're still better off learning something than not. Roman English take the cake. There we have it. They take the cake and now they're eating it. Roman English is a really powerful duo with feudal English bows and follow up heavy castle from Rome and then English can recover in castle and then go imperial with a wine guard and siege them down with the cheap trebuchets and mass armies and enclosure gold. It's just a deadly duo, Roman English. Um, but I was going all Mongolian English there, not building houses, like thinking I'm the Mongols and I don't need houses. But So that's the Mongolian English bow rush, Mongolian style. Those are the English manga die that we saw there. And um, yeah, that pretty much is that. Mongolian English manga die rush, you know, Eng Mongolian style English bow rush with some, because I don't build houses and with some uh, Roman uh, castle age follow-up, you know. So that's the Mongolian style English longbow rush with uh, castle age Rome.